people should not be running with this narrative. And you hear this all the time. The market is crashing. You know, the last of these, the market's crashing. Guys, the market is up. The NASDAQ is up over 22% year over year. I don't know what market you're looking at, that the market is crashing, but it's absolutely ridiculous to run that narrative. And it's actually, honestly, very irresponsible. The NASDAQ 100, the Qs, are still up about 11, 12% for the year. I, I don't know where this market is crashing. What's happening here, okay, is a violent indecision market. And you can see here by the price action, reclaiming the 50, losing the 50, back and forth, back and forth. We obviously have an election, but to sit there on social media, unfortunately, again, the majority of your interaction on a day-to-day -day basis is with people on social media. To hear that the market is crashing is asinine. It doesn't make any sense. I trade both, both sides of the market, and I would never say the market's crashing, okay? Taking advantage of levels to the downside doesn't mean the market's going to zero. The economy's not crashing. Your position is not going to go to zero, whether you're long or short or indifferent. So the last thing you want to do is create, a, you know, create a, um, create an image that you're trying to be so exaggerated just to just to get likes, clicks, and farm for impressions that you'll say anything just to draw attention. Folks, the market's not crashing, okay? When market's not crashing, just look at the data. It's very aggressive right now to the sell side. <clears throat> The sell interval is very, very massive right now. You can see it by the price action, but put yourself into perspective. Look at the weekly chart on the queues, and you tell me if this market's crashing, right? What are you going to do? If you have eyes, you can see that the market's not crashing. Hell, we're nowhere near, uh, we're nowhere near uh, the lows that were four, uh, what was it, 423? We're still 40 points above, right? 40 points above the lows. Again, how can the market crash if we're 40 points above the lows? It makes, it makes absolutely no sense. So again, some of you guys have really, really big following on social media, and some of you guys, uh, you know, look up to a lot of so social media celebrities. But guys, don't run with this stupid narrative. Okay, you, you, it's very okay, and it's your right to trade both sides of the market. When I'm short, yes, I want to see the stock go down as much as possible. But be practical of what you're saying. It, there is a level of professionalism that you have to apply because people are going to look up to you. Some people are going to run with a false narrative, but be professional. Like Barry Sanders did in his prime, you know, when you score, give the ball to the referee. You don't need to do the icky shuffle. You don't need to do the spike the ball. You don't need to run around. I'm the best. I'm the best. Just be a trader, right? Be a professional trader. Whether you're trading uh, E-minis, you're trading uh, stocks, options, whatever that crap else you decide to trade on your plate, be a professional, act like a professional, we'll win, lose, or draw be an adult. Okay. Uh, again, it's very, very obvious uh, when somebody turns around and says the market is crashing. Okay. Tell me you're an amateur without telling me you're an, you're an amateur, right? So guys, just be careful. There is a level of professionalism. There's a basic level of common sense. Uh, again, don't be that dumb dumb in the corner that everybody's looking at uh, for stupid things that are coming out of your mouth.